What makes a good play? Hmm? You're the best person to tell me that. What makes a good play? You get two-thirds of the way through the play, and you've identified really strongly with one of the two protagonists, and you think you know what's going on. All of a sudden, it takes a turn that you don't want, and you're like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Is there any truth to the rumors about your personal conduct in the rehearsal room. I don't want to talk about that. But I will say this. People want there to be a salacious story because that's the nature of the times, but there isn't one. These accusations about my behavior are good stories, but they're not the truth. There's this thing called the truth, and it exists, and it's pure, and we have to seek it out. It's the actor's job to be courageous. <laughs> And that can be unpleasant. Stop! I'm only gonna choke you for 30 seconds. If even a well-intentioned guy like him couldn't read one book, that was the last straw. That became something I just couldn't get past. So, what does that make me? Hmm? Collateral damage? What is your obsession with taking your clothes off? Huh? I'm just holding up a mirror, sweetheart. You should try it sometime. A good play should be like a mini skirt, long enough to cover the important parts and short enough to keep you interested. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs>